hello student today in this video we will see third article in unit number 2 the name of the article is characteristics characteristics of task and interaction characteristics of task and interaction this article will contain task generation granularity and context characteristics of task interaction so let's start this article the various decomposition techniques described in the previous section allows us to identify the concurrency that is available in the problem and decompose it into task and can be executed in parallel the next step in the process of designing a parallel algorithm is to take this task and assign or map them into available processes while devising a mapping scheme to construct a good parallel algorithm we often take a cue from decomposition the nature of the task and interaction among them has bearing on the mapping in this section we shall discuss various properties of task and inter task interaction that affect the choice of good mapping so once the problem has been decomposed into independent task the characteristics of this task critically impact choice and performance of parallel algorithm relevant task characteristic includes task generation task size and size of data associated with task so the following four characteristics of the task have a large influence on the suitability of the mapping scheme task generation the tasks that constitute a parallel program or algorithm may be generated either statically or dynamically static task generation refers to the scenario where all the tasks known before the algorithm start the execution data decomposition usually leads to static task generation example of data decomposition leading to static task generation includes matrix multiplication and lu factorization recursive decomposition can also lead to static task dependency graph finding a minimum of list of number is an example of static recursive task dependency graph so task generation can be done by static task generation or dynamic task generation static task generation concurrent task can be identified a prior or typically matrix operation graph algorithm image processing application and other regularly structured problems falls in this class this can typically be decomposed using data or recursive decomposition technique now certain decomposition leads to dynamic task generation during the execution of the algorithm in such a decomposition the actual task and the task dependency graph are not explicitly available a prior or although a high level rules or guidelines governing the task generation are known as a part of algorithm recursive decomposition can leads to dynamic task generation for example consider recursive decomposition in quick sort the tasks are generated dynamically and the size and the shape of the task tree is determined by value in the input array to sort an array of the same size can lead to task dependency graph of different shape and with a different total number of tasks so dynamic task generation tasks are generated as we perform computation so classic example of this is the game playing each 15 each 15 puzzle board is generated from previous one so these applications are typically decomposed using exploratory or speculative decomposition so exploratory decomposition
can be formulated to generate the task either statically or dynamically. For example, consider 15 puzzle problem. One way to generate a static task dependency graph using exploratory decomposition is as follows. First, pre-processing tasks start with initial configuration and expands the search tree in a bread first manner until predefined number of configurations are generated. This configuration now represents independent tasks which can be mapped into different processes and run independently. A different decomposition that generates tasks dynamically would be one in which a task takes state as input, expand it through predefined number of steps of bread first search, and spans new tasks to form same computation on each of the resulting states. So this is dynamic task generation. Now, uh, next characteristics is task size. Task size may be uniform, that is all the tasks are of same size or non-uniform. Non-uniform task size may such that they can be determined or estimated a prior or, or not. Example in this class includes discrete optimization problems in which it is difficult to estimate the effective size of the state space. Size of the data associated with the task. The size of the data associated with the task may be small or large, even viewed in the context of size of task. A small context of task implies that the algorithm can easily communicate this task to other processes dynamically. A large context ties the task to processes or alternately an algorithm may attempt to reconstruct the context at another processes as opposed to communicating the context of the task. Now characteristics of task interaction. Task may communicate with each other in various ways. The associated dichotomy is static interaction. The task and their interactions are known a prior. These are relatively simpler to code into program. That is a static interaction. Dynamic interaction the timing or the interacting task cannot be determined a prior or these instructions are harder to code especially as well we shall see using message passing api now regular interaction so there is definite patterns in the graph sense to interaction these patterns can be exploited for efficient implementation irregular interaction interaction lack well-defined topology so uh, task interaction can be done with the help of static interaction, dynamic interaction, regular interaction, and irregular interaction. Now here, char characteristics of task interaction is given with the help of example, where uh, you know the image. Yeah, image is form of the pixel, and pixel is uh, the clarity of the image is determined by the intensity of the pixel. So here a simple example of a regular static interaction pattern is in image dithering. The underlying communication pattern is structured to the image one as shown here. Now here uh, that image dithering means how the image is constituted with the help of pixel. And as I said, the brightness or the uh, clarity of the image will be determined by the intensity of the pixel. So the pixels are communicating with each other in order to uh, improve the clarity of that uh, picture. So here, uh, uh, one pixel from this block will communicate with other pixel from other block. Okay, so that is called as a task interaction. So uh, this is a uh, this now uh, in a, a three dimensional or in a multimedia movies or in a uh, big animation flames where uh, supercomputers are used to uh, design that kind of animations or pictures. Uh, the task will be executed by different processors. The uh, image will be handled or the animations will be handled by different processors where they need to interact with each other. The processor handling one task need to interact with the processor handling other tasks. That is what's shown here. The tasks are interacted. Here the pixels are interacted. 
now another example of the task interaction is the matrix multiplication matrix vector multiplication that example we have seen in the earlier section okay where you can see the matrix is divided or decomposed into l1 task and now they are multiply with entire element of this vector b to form the resultant vector y okay now this task interaction graph we have seen so this is a uh, this is uh, required that the task uh, should communicate or interact with other now one one care uh, we should take that uh, the communication overhead we must reduce or minimize the communication overhead because uh, uh, now here only l1 tasks are shown but in reality in high performance computing the tasks are big in number so you need uh, uh, a challenge or you need to solve the challenge uh, how to overcome the communication overhead that take uh, that care we need to take later on also we will discuss many problem or many solutions issues that will tell us that how to reduce the communication overhead in task interaction now characteristics of task interaction interaction may be read only or read write uh, read only interaction take just read the data atom associated with other task in read write interaction task read as well as modify data atom associated with other task in general read write interaction are harder to code since they requires additional synchronization primitives uh, interaction may be one way or two way one way interaction can be initiated and accomplished by one of the two interacting tasks a two way interaction requires participation from both tasks involved in an interaction one way interactions are somewhat harder to code in message passing api so uh, dear student this is the end of this article characteristics of task where we learn uh, what is task then what are the characteristics of the task mainly these three characteristics task generation task size and the size of data associated with task uh, then uh, task can be statically generated or dynamically generated task size may be uniform non uniform then the size of the data associated with the task may be smaller or larger okay and the characteristics of task interaction can be done statically or dynamically and it may be a regular interaction or irregular interaction similarly this example of uh, image gathering can helpful to understand how the tasks are interacted with each other similarly the matrix vector multiplication example is also helpful to understand how the task interaction graph or the task interaction can be shown okay and finally the interaction characteristics uh, tell us that it may be read only or read write interaction okay and it may be one way or two way interaction so this is the end of this video i hope that you will understand the characteristics of task interaction and task okay thank you very much